Welcome to Lakshu's Chettinad Kitchen. For more recipes, visit lakshu'sdiary.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make extremely soft chapatis, which stay softer for a longer time. For this, you need 3 cups of vita flour, arata, 1 cup of fresh milk or boiled milk, 1 cup of water and salt to taste. Now add milk to the water and bring it to boil. When the milk boils, switch off the fire and add 1 tablespoon of oil to the content. To the flour, add 1 tablespoon of salt and mix it well. Now add the boiled content to the flour. Mix it well with a wooden spatter so that it's very hot. When warm, knead thoroughly using your hand and make it into a dough. Leave the dough for at least 20 minutes, covering it with a lid. After 20 minutes, you could see small bubbles formed on the flour. This means it's ready. Again, add 1 tablespoon of oil and knead well. Roll it into small dumplings. Now, set aside little atta flour for rolling the dough. Press the dumplings into flat dough and dust it with atta flour. Place it on the chapati maker. Using a roll pin, spread the chapati flat. Roll it neither thick nor too thin. Heat the tawa on medium fire. Place the rolled chapati on the tawa and cook for 5 seconds. Flip the chapati to the other side. Let the other side also cook for 5 more seconds. Now, using a small cloth or a tissue, press the edges of the chapati to puff up. You can see the chapati puffing up. Turn it to the other side. The chapati is ready to be removed from the tawa. Serve chapatis with a side dish. Just to see how soft the chapati is, tear a piece of chapati and see the soft layers which has formed, which makes it softer to stay for longer. Cook and enjoy the healthy soft chapatis for your family. Bye. See you in another recipe.